Kratos. Level 2 upgrade. Today I'm going to be stalling this high-tech servo. Now, of course, um, Austin is dead pay for this servo. Now, let's take apart this car off. All I have to do is take out the body, of course. And then remove these four screws. Screws are moved away. Now we have plenty of access to reach those two screws right there. After you remove those two screws, you can remove these other four screws. Okay, once you got that, uh, sorry, hold up. Huh. Okay, sorry guys, I'm just getting used to it being sideways. Okay, now you got that off using six screws. Now, all you have to do is take off that clip and take off these two screws. Okay guys, now you got those two screws off. You don't really have to take off the clip that holds in the back strip. All you have to do is pull it. Now, if you guys are having a tough time taking those two screws off, I would suggest um I would suggest taking these two screws off, but I'll tell you guys if I am able to do that or not. Okay now guys I did have to take off that bottom two screws off. Now uh, try and do this. Okay. Now all you need to do is take off that screw up to take off that servo horn. Now you got the screw off. Just pull it off. Oh, never mind. Now unplug it from channel 1. That's the high tech servo. You have to take that servo arm off. Now, the easiest way is what I usually do I get a flathead screwdriver, push it in here, then kind of get into there, and then kind of kind of go up, and then say time let that go down. I don't know, guys, it's a pain, but you gotta take that off in order to get that high tech servo in there. Okay guys, I made a little bit of a mistake. That ball has to take off from this. Well, can I just Oh, I don't care. Now you can take this hollow bow by using your four ray wrench that Traxxas gives you. Apparently can't find it, but oh well, let's get this off. Now you got that hollow bow off and now. Now since you have to buy the high, since you got the high tech servo, Here's the VIN number for the servo you have to buy. DTXC8873. Let's open it up and find out which one of these works for the high tech servo. Then all you have to do is remove that screw and make sure which one of these will fit. First, before you get that in, all you have to do is plug this to channel 1 and then uh, turn on your uh, motor and ESC and turn on re your remote. And then with the remote we have, we can adjust the front of the remote. So basically, all you have to do is turn it on and then let the, let the servo straighten it out and then put the servo arm in. Okay, now you got that screw in. Now you want it to be on the right just a little bit because of the alignments right there. Now, um... Hold up a second. Now it's time to get that hollow bow in there with that. Okay, got the hollow bow. Now, quick note. Do this before you put this, put this in. I did not want to put that screw in, so I just basically mostly do it by hand, but partially with the tool. Now, in order to get those, get those pigs in, just put it in there. Use the top hole and do one screw at each side. Okay, now you got those two screws in. Slide it down here and put two screws on the bottom. Now, after those two screws, I'm going to put on. Now, a quick note. That servo arm. Ugh, that servo arm is, has to be straight up. It's not completely straight up, but it's close, I guess. Now all you need to do is get this and snap it into that hollow ball. Okay, now you got that in. Now all you need to do is make sure that's aligned up. Well, actually you don't really have to at this point. And then all you have to do is get that and put two screws right there. Now you got those two screws on. Now quick now, put the wire like right there. Don't go around it, but like put it right there. Like in between that and that. Now, let's get this, and then put four screws, two right there, and two right there, into here. 
Okay, now you got those four screws in. Now, all you need to do is just move the bulkhead and then get those two screws in. Okay, this may be be a part two, but if it's not and I'm able to put it together, then that's good. Okay, quick note. Uh, when you put these two screws down, you have to uh, loosen these other four screws in order to move the bulkhead and slide it into there. Okay, now the final part. Getting these four four screws into the shock tower. Okay, so that's all you need. Now I'm going to show you how fast this steering servo works. Guys, here's the steering of it. Okay, there you go. That was the level 2 upgrade for Kratos.